We're in today with the legendary RX 519. We're gonna continue the story, actually, we're gonna continue the benchmark with this Intercion W3690. Last time we tested a different RX video card, and I said, you know what, let's test the RX 590 and see how it's working. This video card has 2304 shaders. It's got 256 bits with 8 gig of VRAM GGDR5 Samsung with uh, 1560 megahertz on the core clock with 2100 megahertz on the memory. Let's jump in. Let's jump in and see how it's running. Okay, let's start with Far Cry 6. Uh, let's see what settings do we have here. Uh, I don't even know what settings I have. Uh, 1080p, quality, ultra, maybe. we we'll just just push the whole gpu see how it's running and see it's like the race to the bottleneck i think this is the only thing it's important seriously nowadays adaptive resolution 30 how about off render scale damn hot damn boy look at this wow 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 how nice it looks oh you look so fantastic damn you nice boy oh that is so freaking awesome dude i love the details i love how it looks okay 45 fps i want to see if i get that minimal 22 fantastic that's it i'll take it dale what the f okay so 14 20 fps on minimal i like this performance seriously 45 fps on average I'll take it. Seriously, the details are fantastic. Got nice reflection, details, everything is fantastic with this game. Seriously, I'm guessing the game managed to progress uh, since uh, day of launch, you know. Got a lot of updates, uh, correction, optimization. Man, it looks fantastic now. Ow. Wow. Even the fire, everything. No drops in FPS. So overall, the CPU is doing a great job. Look at it, 50% load on the CPU. This is a magnificent CPU, I'm not gonna lie. Look at it, how nice it's holding those cores, seriously. Let's see how it's, uh, it's performing with, uh, with a car, driving a car. Maybe it's dropping in FPS exactly like in GTA 5, you know, when you drive super fast. I'm still hovering around 45 FPS, so that means the whole system is doing fantastic. The GPU on maximum details apparently is doing a great job, seriously, on delivering the performance. 4.4 gig of uh, VRAM memory allocated to the game, that's actually fantastic. 10.3 gig of system RAM used. The CPU is not bottleneck and it does show me what I need, uh, what I need to see, seriously. Okay, let's continue with uh, Valhalla and see how it's running uh, here. I got everything on the preset. I think uh, I think this is graphical uh, graphic quality preset on high details. I'm gonna see how it's running with high details. Maybe, you know what? Let's put it on ultra. All right, this is an interesting situation. Apparently, it's the same like it's like it's the same like in Far Cry. If I max out uh, the details with this uh, system, apparently the GPU is bottlenecking and it's using six gig so it's allocating six gig of vram this is interesting from this type of perspective seriously i never thought that i will end up with a system like this max maxing out the game so crazy so crazy so awesome seriously overall i, I want to see how it's performing uh, more games seriously with the system the system overall is using uh, again 10 gig of uh, system ram the cores are not reaching half you know, look at this, 50% CPU load. Only a couple of cores are passing 50% or reaching 50%. But, oh my God, this is actually fantastic. Frame time is on the spot. Minimals are 30, 20, actually dropped to 20. <laughs> but I don't care, I don't care. It's, it looks, it looks fantastic. It runs fantastic. And uh, I'm 100% sure if I can, uh, if I enable some, um, how should I say, frame scale, it will be even better, but uh, there's no problem there, seriously. Look at this. This is brilliant. Nice quality, nice details, a lot of... Oh, freaking love the details, seriously. Never thought I will reach this performance with uh, this uh, computer, seriously. I knew the CPU was good, you know, but uh, never thought I will uh, be pushing this type of details with this uh, 
with a card. A bit loud on the on the fan side because I got like 64 degrees on this uh, Intel Xeon. Still 10 gig of system RAM. The, the cores are reaching 50%. This is interesting. I never would have thought this CPU is gonna hold this uh, fantastic, seriously. All right, let's jump into God of War and see how it's running. But uh, if it's showing me 45 FPS again, I will be like, you know what? This is how this video card is working. This is how the system is running. You know, the RX 590 is bottlenecking and it's pissing me off, seriously. <laughs> okay, let's max it out and see how it's running. Low, no ultra. I'm gonna put it on ultra and gonna see 1080p but less no render scale no nothing no modification <laughs> 40, <laughs> 41 fps <laughs> apparently this is how the gpu is working seriously can't believe it seriously can't believe this so w3690 with an rx 590 i never thought i will see this but it's running really nice seriously it's holding the gpu on its knees seriously i like the performance that uh, the video card is giving you know imagine having a better a more powerful video card i'm actually surprised that I managed to reach this bottleneck with the video card and I never thought that I will uh, see those scores barely on half you know system RAM I'm reaching 11 gig of system RAM the temperature is good everything is quite fantastic with this and uh, I really like overall how the system is working this is the third game that is running similar you know 40 fps lights is awesome the effects are awesome the performance are is awesome there's no bugs with this video card you know to see say that uh, the drivers are bad you know it's still running the gpu is still running i got like, like 65 66 degrees i'm guessing the the fans that i'm hearing in the microphone is from the video card and uh, it's a cool video card overall even though it's uh, it's bottlenecking 99 100% you can actually see the gpu is struggling on the core 7.6 gig of vram oh my god actually this game is managing to use the the the, the video card uh, overall seriously vram core size everything i'm 100% sure i forgot to put the the meters on uh, so i can see the wattage i'm 100% sure it will be and a lot of uh, wattage seriously regardless i like how it's working i got a lot of details and uh, fantastic overall god of war and it's doing exactly like the other games oh definitely we're gonna try uh, cyberpunk because i think uh, we're gonna be on the same spot no <laughs> ultra Oof. i don't have uh, ray tracing here but i'm gonna keep it on ultra 1080p full screen graphics quality fidelity fx super sampling Oh, okay, so if I put it on high ultra, we're gonna put fidelity FX uh, super resolution to put on quality off. Okay, I'm gonna give it leave it like that. Yeah. 46 FPS, <laughs> same number. If oh my god, this is unbelievable, seriously. But it looks fantastic, it runs fantastic. I can't complain, nothing, seriously. This is the first game that I can see the, the CPU is reaching 70 degrees and a lot of load on the CPU too. Overall, the system is doing fantastic. I got some horrible minimals. Seriously, two on minimal. That's not a good number. I'm guessing uh, if I take it down from the ultra details and distress the GPU, everything will be okay. So if I put the stress on both of them, I think it will be much better, you know? 21 uh, frame time actually i seen it on 30 frame time but uh, yeah overall on maximum details you can actually play the game really nice with an rx 590 you know playing cyberpunk on maximum details with this w3690 mind-blowing seriously considering how old this cpu is all right let's test uh, heavy plonker and see how it's running who this is gonna be interesting because uh there are lots of details. I feel it's very snappy. I don't know how to say it. All right, let's see how it's running. Ooh, hundreds of FPS. I think it will, it will be the same like uh, previous uh, previous game. Uh, let's see how we're doing. 1080p, no upscaling, um, cap, no V-Sync. This is uh, recommended on low details. Hundreds of FPS. You can actually see I got performance from this. Seriously. So I'm going to put it on Ultra. Actually, 60 FPS. 
And I'm 100% if I go uh, near the castle or go outside, I don't know. I think if I'm uh, loading the environment, it will be the same. 40 FPS, 45 FPS. Okay, I'm just curious because this is the first game that actually runs really nice. This is so fantastic. It looks really nice. Oh, definitely looks fantastic. Hey. Field gun. Sleeping dragon statue. Whoa. Nice. Damn, that was not the GPU, that was the power supply. <laughs> Not funny. The question was at the beginning that if it's worth having an RX 590 with this uh, CPU W 3690. Yes, it's worth it. But the only problem is is the power supply. You can actually see that the restart, the it was not a blue screen. It was a power supply failure because this GPU is putting the whole system at the edge. Seriously, the power supply is rated nearly under two. 300 watts or something to 280 watts or something like this and it's putting the whole system at risk this is the only downside with this video card seriously i will suggest an rx 570 theoretically because I, my one is broken but ideal would be to have a video card like that something that is not passing 150 watts this video card is using uh, two two power supply connectors, one eight pin and one six pin. Ideal would be to have a video card that has only one pin connector. That's it, doesn't matter, six pin, eight pin, doesn't matter. Regardless, I think my suggestion would be uh, something like uh, RTX 2060, 2060 Super. I know, I know, but that will be really ideal for this system. I'm very proud to have this W3690, seriously, fantastic CPU.